Yo guys, Jim and Brian here from Drink a Beer and Play a Game, and we are here with podcast number 18, and today's topic, console exclusives, well, console platform exclusives, ah, fuck it, exclusive games, is it good, is it bad, and our thoughts, so, Brian wants to go first on this one. When Jim proposed this as a topic to me, I thought it was really interesting, because to be honest, I've never actually sat down and consciously thought about this but as i did i guess what i've come to realize is i'm not a huge fan of it generally because obviously it's going to force me to either get multiple consoles or just deal with the fact that i'm not going to get a chance to play a game i can tell you right now i'm dealing with that dilemma because i am dying to play until dawn but I don't have a PS4. And there are plenty of other games I want to play on PS4, but that is a primary one. And it's busting my balls that I didn't get the PS4, but it is what it is. I got the, I went with the Xbox One for the simple reason all my friends have it. But back to the topic, putting that aside, maybe it's actually a good thing. Because if you look at all the exclusives, not saying this is a case for all of them, so don't bite my head off, but... I feel like teams and developers will put a little bit more effort and a little more oomph into trying to make a game more original, have something that makes it really stand out from the crowd, and just put generally more time and effort into those games for each system to say, hey look, we're Xbox, we had Halo, hey look, we're PS3 or PS4, we had the Uncharted series. So as we've seen since the beginning of consoles, there's pretty much always been some major titles that are console exclusives, and they always tend to be just the most talked about, even if they're not the best. With that being said, you know what? As much as I would love everyone to be on a fair standing and yada, 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 I love it because it drives competition, and that's what you really need in a game market right now that's so saturated with fucking repackaging of old titles over and over you need something exclusive hell i don't even have a wii or a wii u and that game splatoon looks pretty interesting just because it's it's an exclusive so that's my quick take on it i don't love it because it's forced me to get other consoles but i love it for the competition and the products that that it bears so all right this is going to be a weird way to start but I think my biggest thing for liking it, and I actually do like console exclusive games. I know a ton of people, and I see it all the time on YouTube and forums and other crap like that. There's a huge amount of people who hate it, and trust me, I understand. But if I could use a wrestling analogy, <laughs> don't you judge me yet. If every console had the same games, one, there'd be no point in having other consoles. And two, when there's no competition, things get stale and boring and there's no innovation. Let's take a look at WWE since WCW, you know, basically went bankrupt, went away, got bought out. TNA's not a real contender, neither is Ring of Honor. So, WWE got full of themselves, they got safe, and frankly, it's just never reached that level again. And before you jump down my throat, I actually do like some parts of the product. Brian doesn't. Jim likes way too many parts of it. <laughs> I like Brock Lesnar, period. Brian, there's more better people than Brock Lesnar. All right, Dolph Ziggler, and that's it. That's it. All right, I'm not getting into this in this podcast. Anyway, but getting back to my point, if everything was the same and all the games came out on every single platform, there would be no reason to have anything but a PC. Now, I know PC Master Race users have been saying this for years, but let's think about the Xbox One to PS4. At this point, they're basically mini computers, so what point is there to actually buy them unless you want to either get Forza and Halo or Gran Turismo and Little Big Planet, or what's the point of getting Nintendo if not for their first-party titles? And getting on the point of first-party titles, these are the games that seem to maybe not specifically innovate the most, but they really push the hardware limits of these consoles the most, and they kind of open the Pandora's box for what each system can do. So it's kind of important to have them there, because if no one's focusing in on something, then there's no reason to bring out its full potential. And really, maybe, I'm, maybe some people are just getting old, because we grew up in the 90s. We grew up during the console wars of the Super NES and the Genesis, and 
for all the dumb back, you know, schoolyard fights, it kind of kept it fun. It's cool to have something to be stupidly boastful about that, you know, really doesn't matter. And you see it all over, people being way too exclusive about the PS4, the Xbox, and just being obnoxious about it. And I can see why people get annoyed, because guess what? You were probably like that too at some point. And yeah, you realize it's dumb, but you forget that it's fun to just bitch about dumb crap like that. Anyway, to close it out, like I said, I like it, but if there's one thing that annoyed me, it's timed exclusives, which to me make no sense at all. And the best thing to bring up is Rise of the Tomb Raider. Xbox paid all that money to get a couple month lead time on Rise of the Tomb Raider, and it sold like shit. Why? Because people just wound up waiting to buy it for the console they wanted to buy it for. So, if you're going to make something an exclusive, make it an exclusive exclusive, and not a timed exclusive. Make it a reason to have people come and buy your product. Make it a reason for there to be competition. Timed exclusives is just wasting everyone's time, and it's making uh, games look bad that are really better and deserve to sell better than they actually did. And on a final note, I'm kind of pissed Street Fighter V isn't coming to Xbox. Anyway, that's my take. All right, guys, so let us know below. Have you yourself engaged in some of these console wars? What's your favorite console? That's a good YouTube show. And be sure to let us know what you think. As always, give us some ideas for topics if you'd like to hear us rant and bitch about stuff. You can hit us up in the comments below, Twitter, Facebook, or on our email. All the links are below. Cheers, guys. Cheers.